today I, I have a great pleasure to share the stage together with Evelina Nygren from OP. And uh, what it, kind of, like, of course, the financial skills are important for a bank. But what, what was kind of a, like the interest of the bank to especially focus on the young people? Yeah, uh, for us, us uh, of course, it's a part of our corporate social responsibility, but we believe that um, supporting financial literacy, uh, it's about comprehensive life management. So um, we think that uh, if you have bad financial skills, it will affect your life overall. And uh, also, we believe that financial literacy is a part of equality. Um, and through this, we believe that uh, learning innovations are very important because uh, learning is one key to um, uh, creating equality. So this is why we were really, really excited about um, finding these innovations on the spotlight. And we found actually over almost 100 innovations. And I think me and my city uh, which Kaisa re represents uh, is, is a really interesting one um, where children learn innovative skills on financial literacy. Exactly. And when we were doing the research, we were also finding out that there's, there's social and, and, and social background of uh, young people affects quite a lot to the literacy, uh, to the <laughs> financial literacy skills they are having. And uh, me and my city have been organizing this kind of learning opportunities uh, a lot of students around around Finland but also globally so and, and you are represent, representing them so so could you give an example of the work you have been doing during the last years yeah we've been doing it for 10 years already next year is going to be 10 years uh, we teach about economy working life and entrepreneurship and it's a learning concept that has um, teach it uh, training for teachers and then we have material for students and then we have a very unique learning environment which is kind of a miniature town or a city where the students sixth graders in Finland who are 12 from 12 to 13 years of age they they act there in occupations they have professions and they they are also citizens and consumers at the same time so it's about teacher training material lessons in school for 10 hours and then this unique learning environment and if i give you an example of a child let's say someone's 12 years old uh finnish or, or called jeff they they're in school they have uh, 10 lessons about economy working life and entrepreneurship they apply for a job and they are interviewed by their teacher in school and they, they can apply for a job as, let's say, a banker in a bank and they get the job. And then during that one day in that learning environment, which they run by themselves, they act as a banker in the bank, in the, the mini town. So they earn a salary and then they use the salary as well as, as consumers. And then they are also citizens, so they can go and vote because there we have in this miniature city, we have companies and then we have a city hall and we have services. So they act as a, as a member of the society and they run it by themselves. That's so it's not run by teachers or adults. Yeah, that's, a, that's amazing. So it's kind of a, like a small society living yeah. its own life. That's perfect. And uh, we, are, we actually made a decision today with, with yes. Evelina uh, that we have now been going through the review and research process. And we decided today that we are going to announce all of these innovations on 3rd of December, and that is a promise. So uh, that is the day you can look forward to, because then all the innovations will be published on 100 website. And so thank you so much for joining me on the stage today.